Good morning. Last night was freezing. I'm still coming to. I uh, had to get up and like put on extra clothes. Last night was absolutely freezing here. The tent is all condensated. How's your tea? That's great. I love it. Morning mojo. Morning mojo. We don't, don't have, have coffee, coffee with us. <laughs> you owe me a beer now. Jinx. You owe me a beer. Yeah, we haven't had coffee in so long. I don't know, like I'm I'm doing okay, I guess, but I feel like somebody smacked me over the head and I'm just kind of in a daze. That's what it feels like right now. There was a loon on the lake this morning. Oh yeah? It didn't make a sound. I was trying to provoke it, but no. Wind's picking up. Oh yeah. Too hot in the sun. I'm dressed way too warm for this. So we were just done saying how happy we are we brought the bush buddy with us. It's a lot nicer to cook on than the uh, jet boil, you can kind of control the flames. Yeah. With the amount of sticks you put inside. Plus so we're not worried about the gas running out. Yeah, we're not worrying about the gas running out, that's for sure. Lots of wood in the woods. The gas is obviously a bonus for a wet day, but on a day like this, bush buddy. Plus we only have one tent, so we have to conserve it a bit. Yeah, because somebody didn't bring their can. <laughs> Who would that be? <laughs> so now we're just making this size twigs a little bit thicker, but more or less the same size. And that's the best size to uh, load this guy up. I'm so glad I'm so stubborn sometimes and took that can. I know, I was supposed <laughs> to be the only one with the can. <laughs> and then I left mine behind like a dum-dum. We'd be cooking everything on the bush body and boiling water. It took a while. As much as it works, it takes a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't be able to. Watch your fingers.
find some. It's getting uh, a little less watery. So I'm going to start adding less at this point. Keep the flames down. We should be just fine. This thing rocks. So we're packing up. We're packing up day four. Oh. Got a short one today. Apparently it's only five kilometers. We should get there in no time. Sorry. We have rain tonight. Yeah, lots, lots of rain tonight, so we're gonna get to our spot, utilize the tarp as soon as we get there, because it's gonna be a wet one. I am so, like, out of energy. I feel I the nothing, same. I have nothing again. This is, like, it feels like I'm completely defeated. It just shows how out of shape I really am. That's a lot of weight that we're carrying as well. Quick bite before we go, and we should be out of here shortly. It's a quick press. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have high tech. Mm. No, that's bad. And it's a tiny shoe. If it bothers me, I'll take it off. Okay. You love some of my oatmeal, huh? Voila. Hmm. Breakfast of champions. Bowl full of oatmeal. Look, there's a mushroom growing right underneath here too. I see the mushroom. Right there. So tiny. And there's another one. This is where we slept last night. We're all packed up and pretty much ready to go now. Leaving behind H17. Yeah. Very nice place. Oh. We're just climbing up another hill. Use your pulse here, honey. Oh. This trail knows how to beat, beat you up. Nice and easy here, Cookie. There's a lot of holes on the ground. So in the distance, if you can make that out, that is the mountain range we're going to. That's the Lacloche. And that will be a pickle. We're going to be up in those mountains tomorrow. 
I have stopped being a Debbie Downer and I'll just be positive from now on. From now on, the distance and to destination and all that information is going to be kept secret. And all I will say is how much we've done. It's roughly a kilometer, baby, that we've gone. Perfect. This, stre this stretch of highway does not have too much water. You can climb down and get it from the lake. Yeah, but it's, you see what it is, right? It's very rocky on this side. So definitely get your water at 817 or somewhere around there. There isn't really much. Low, ah, <laughs> low branches. <sighs> oh, this is a nice view right here. <sighs> and then there's that little peninsula there. That's awesome. So beautiful. And our path is that way. Whew. It's definitely not a moderate trail. This is definitely advanced. <laughs> oh yeah. Path has kind of disintegrated into a field of boulders. through which a uh, creek runs every time it rains. Some sections are a lot more technical than others. Some are breeze, it's literally like an old logging road. And you just mosey right along. But most of it is what you see right here. Extremely rugged. I mean, this may not seem so, but I'll show you the next thing we come up to and you can judge for yourself. Oh my gosh. I have to say we're doing much better today though. It's been tough the first three days, but day number four, I'm starting to feel like an athlete. Still sweaty, still tired, but muscles don't hurt as much anymore. And we seem to be uh, keeping up a much bigger, better pace at this time. Just pull over every 10, 15 minutes, have a drink of water. Really important to hydrate and keep going. I actually haven't even taken off my backpack today. That's a first. That's a sign that things are starting to look up. Good girl. It's a big uprooted tree. Massive thing. Where are those mushrooms? Closer and closer to our destination. That's what the shirt looks like. After an hour and a half on the trail, it's soaked. So here's our pit stop number one. And we just found out by looking at the GPS that we're about 400 meters short of our camp spot. Beautiful weather. We're on top of this hill. Tried stopping before, but it was just too windy and too dark in there. It was freezing. My shirt being so wet, it was not nice. So we're here in the sun. We have packed again and we journey on following the blue signs. It 
So we have begun what I anticipate is our last descent to our destination, which should be a small lake. At the end of the three narrows, one of the arms off to the west side. You'll notice a small lake. I do not know what it's called. I'll fill you in on that one later. But this is where we're at right now. And we're close. I can smell the water again. I can almost see the lake. There's some water there. Yep. I see water. Absolutely, absolutely. It's becoming easier to walk and navigate. We've actually repacked our bags, both of us did, and we're moving faster as a result. It's just a smarter way of packing, smarter way of doing everything you do out here, being more efficient. Yeah, but do we do this on the regular? No, and then we overpacked more than people that do this stuff on the regular. Can you do it? Of course you can, but it's tough people. This is not an easy trail. Not for the faint of heart. And can you check out these mushrooms? I mean, you see, you see the dog for reference, right? Massive. And they're just absolutely everywhere. These for all I know are edible. That's a mush like I know those. That one there, that looks edible. But that one looks also like the most, yeah, that looks also like the most poisonous mushroom. That's definitely, that definitely is not edible. I would never eat that. You don't touch any mushrooms in a forest, first of all, again, if you've never picked mushrooms with somebody who does and who has shown you the ropes. Stay away from mushrooms if you've never been shown. And I mean shown in person. Only then can you actually go and pick mushrooms. I know a few, and those are the only ones I ever pick. Never anything else. I go after what I know, and that's because I've been shown those in the forest. Experience is key. I see our lake, honey. Oh my God. We're up, I'm so grateful to see this. Wow, <laughs> awesome beautiful it is it's not even that small i thought it was smaller this would be perfect for fishing too the color is perfect for that look at all those lilies <gasps> yeah just watch your step <laughs> this is amazing and today we have like two and a half hours before daylight is done well, i wish i had a canoe too but no such luxury here Yeah, check that out. That does not look edible to me. Like for all I know, this guy's edible, but I would never pick it. And there's mushroom galore in this forest. I've never seen anything like it. It's like mushroom on top of mushroom. Very pretty. I'll see you at the campsite. Yeah, you, we have made it. I could too, but we're gonna stick to our schedule and camp where we're supposed to camp. Then push it and possibly get soaked in an hour and a half. So let's take these down, show you around. Oh. This is awesome. I'm glad to be here. Short day today. We have maybe two hours, two and a half hours on the trail. Very short. We rocked it today. 
Well, I'll see what, I did, what it is when I come to camp, but we absolutely rock this thing. So every one of these campsites is not exact, well, not everyone, some of them are, but what I was trying to say is that most of these campsites have little side paths to get to them. And uh, that's where you do the extra mileage, essentially. This one's quite short. Yeah, very nice view. And so from our weather forecast, we know that we have a lot of rain coming. So we are gonna set up at a hump somewhere. Very, very important for tonight. Very, very important. Like that looks as much as a great spot as it looks. It's gonna pick, it's gonna get wet there. And that's so, so nice and flat. Here's a good spot, but in rain, it's gonna be horrible. Like anything here would be great, but not for tonight. We know we got rain coming. Oh, yeah. Napagurko? I'm gonna just drop my pack here because I'm exhausted. No more carrying of this heavy thing. Lord, we seriously overpacked for this trip, but we're actually like glamping. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Water is required. Let's check this place out. This is where we are, people. That's the backpack. That's the lake, obviously. Of all places, the one place I really like the most for camping is right here. And they, somebody put a fire pit on it. It is. This is gorgeous here. And we have a nice gentle slope on the other side to get water. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, cookie. This is a big drop here. This is, uh, yeah. You drinking out of the puddle? We gotta pour her some water, she's thirsty. She's drinking out of a, like a exposed puddle. There's, that's been in the sun for too long. Okay, come on, let's go drink. Come on, let's go, let's go to the water. We have some firewood for tonight. Sorry? Yes, absolutely. I'll give it to you. I still haven't uh, decided where to go with the tent. And that's very, very important for tonight. Walk, walk around. There's like clouds rolling in actually slowly. Yeah. My shirt is so wet. I gotta change right now before doing anything. We have a beautiful spot. Cookie chose her spot. This is where I get water, or we.
Let's go see how the tarp is doing. This side actually I wanted to point everything down this way. That way the water from the entire tarp ends up here. So I'll do this one here. Okay. Okay? Yeah. That way all the water just naturally starts flowing to this side. Perfect. What should we do here? Make it strong. Let's just find the lower spot on the other side as well. See what I'm trying to do? I'm trying yep. to wick the water a certain way. Divert it. Over here, I think we just need to do it in the middle. Right here. So, what I'm doing is I'm just adding some tie off points. Like I said, we are anticipating weather. Sometimes one tie-off point is just simply not enough. Sorry, four. And reinforce the corners. Double them up. That's the way to do it. So that short one there is my uh, low point where I would ideally like to my water end up reason being that's the uh that's the ge general geography of this area it's all heading downhill from here now this spot has absolutely no spots that are ideal everywhere you go you're gonna find this dark spot now those dark spot people are not from tents those are from water pooling So you want to avoid that. <laughs> you have a rude awakening in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, one more tie off point right here. Just to keep the water on this side. And yes, the weather's starting to look like it definitely will be raining, so. Good call on the tarp. So this is my overall setup. We're expecting 75 km an hour winds. So I'm not taking this easy. I reinforced on both sides by tying off in four locations. The tent is completely covered up. And we're on this tiny little hump, which happens to be next to a wash. This whole area right here, this will turn into a stream of water at one point in time. Um, the tarp should be wicking away the water right there, but it's lower lying than our tent and the water should just end up right here in this location and not go where the tent is at at all. So we'll see how that goes. But that's what it looks like underneath.
uh, these type of lakes don't see many people like I said earlier I wish I had more line but my line unfortunately is very short and that's the storm rolling in That first bait didn't work. I got my box. I'll try some something a little different. This to me looks like a little brook trout lake. Brook trout lake. And it's got its deep places as well, right? What am I use? Try this today, maybe. Golden red. That looks good. Those must be from my dad. Way back in the day sometime. I inherited a whole box from him. Still got some of the stuff, you know. Some of it disintegrated already. Snagged and otherwise disappeared. I just love fishing these remote places. It's amazing. Just gotta find the right bait. Since it's a uh, provincial park, I could have brought some uh, worms with me, but I didn't. Got artificial lures only. I like the way that looks in the water. This beautiful day turned into this. It looks like it's gonna storm all night on us. It's getting rather chilly. Oh no! I let it go for a little while and I snagged it. Oops. a snag oh no all right this is right we gotta be careful not to fall in the water yes oh that's deep over there not the most comfortable area it's all rocky you know I bet you nobody's fished this lake in like a week, at least. People do pass through here. Somebody's got to have a fishing rod. Although most of the people we've been passing so far have these ridiculously small backpacks. Ours is huge. 
both of us. Well, most of them are here for a day or two, three or four. We've met a couple who are here for five days. We're doing double that, so a lot more food. And we brought change of clothes because I am getting really stinky. I'm going to do a French bath today. Fish, fish, fish. It'd be so nice to catch something right now. I don't think we'd be eating it because we're eating like chicken and vegetable today. I don't know if we're putting any rice in that, but that's how we packed. We have quinoa, we have rice, we have all the good stuff. There's Cookie. You'll be hearing that belt for the next six days. She has it on until we go to bed. So we know where she is. And um, she deters the bears from sneaking up on us. In the morning, this morning actually, we did have a visitor to the camp. And we heard a bunch of branches breaking and some thumping, whatever. She started woofing woofing or barking and the thing quickly went away it's good to have a dog with you she's like an alarm and bears they just pretty much don't want to startle them our fire went out so there was no smoke and obviously no smoke they start coming to the campsites to check out if anybody left anything behind and usually there's something in a fire pit People always leave a tea bag, right? So all the poles are here. It's my trusty agava. I'm gonna put this away as well. I don't want this getting wet. It's one of my favorite tools. Yeah. That's our battery bank. Batteries are charging. We're going through about the battery and a half a day. If I were to bring enough batteries here, I'd have to have 15 with me. I've got four, so we got a battery bank instead. Right. Are they? Yeah. I closed my side. Okay. I'm gonna go inside and do this then. Such a little fire going on over there. A really dark night. No moon through these clouds. Yep. It's gotten really. It's gotten really windy. Gusty. And gusty. Mm -hmm. It comes and goes, but it's increasing. Oh yeah. yeah. I can okay. see a star through the clouds actually. Can you? Yeah. So that's a 30 foot fall to the water. It just goes vertically down. Wow, look at all those flies. We thought there were no more bugs, huh? Faint light.
so here we are. It's thundering out there. And from what it looks like, it's gonna pass right over us. So we're in for a wet night. It's like anticipated. It's passing right over us. Oh yeah. Good girl.